hello guys in this class what we'll try to understand is what is the difference between standard sop form standard pos form right uh, here what exactly we are going to learn is so we have already completed what is the meaning of sop form right so that is what we called as the normal sop form then one more thing is that we have something called as the standard sop form so now what we have to understand is what is the difference between this normal sop form what is the standard SOP form, right? So we'll understand what is the difference between normal SOP form and standard SOP form by considering some examples. Suppose for example, this is the example one, this is example two, right? If you look at this example one or example two, the both are product terms which are going to add it together, means both are the SOP only, right? Now how to differentiate between normal SOP as well as the standard SOP, that is the question, right? Now normal SOP means normal SOP means if we consider any product term, right? So that is called as the normal SOP form, right? Then what is the meaning of standard SOP form? The meaning of standard SOP form means if we consider any product term, suppose for example you consider this one, this example, right? So how many maximum variables are there? Either in make complemented form or it may be in uncomplemented form. What is the meaning of complement form? And uncomplement form is, if we consider this expression, how many variables we have? Either a or a bar is there, that we consider as a single variable. b, b bar is there, that we consider as a single, single value. c, c bar is there, that we will consider as the single value. So what is the meaning of standard SOP form is, if we consider any product term, right? If you consider any product term, each product term should consist of the, all the variables or the literals right if you consider any product term each product term should consist of the all the variable for this example how many variable we have three variable what are they a b c so what is the meaning of this one is here we have the product term one product term two product term three if we consider any product term it must and should have the all the three variable either it may be normal variable or it may be complementary variable it should be then it is called as the standard SOP form for example see that I try to understand try to analyze so what is the first expression right we have the three product terms right first one is a b second one a b c bar third one is a bar b bar c so here how many maximum variable we have a a bar b b bar c or c bar now if you see this one right just to go to the first product term, what is the first product term? Do we have all three variables? No, right? What is the missing variable? C is missing. If C is missing means it is not in the standard format, right? So this is what we called as here. In second product term, we have the three variables. That's fine. In third product term also, we have the three variables. That is also absolutely fine. But what is the problem with the first product term? It is not having the all the three variables. It means that it is not standard format. So it is what we called as the normal SOP formats. Now one more question is that why we need to learn what is the difference between normal SOP form or standard SOP form means. Again the KMAP we have said earlier KMAP will understand only SOP form or POS form. But again if you substitute the value in terms of the normal SOP form that is very much complex or difficult for us to plot the value into the KMAP. So always what we are trying to do is we will try to convert the expression in terms of the standard SOP form, right. Now try to understand this, this, this function, right, is it in a normal SOP form or it is in the standard SOP form, right, what is the answer? The answer is standard SOP form, right, standard SOP form, why it is standard SOP form? If you consider this expression, we have the A, A variable or A bar, B or B bar, C or C bar. So what is the meaning of this one? If we consider product term 1 or product term 2 or product term 3, each product term should have all these variables, either it may be in complemented form or the another, sorry, complemented form or uncomplemented form. For C, for example, here first product term we have three variables, right? Second product term we have three variables, right? Third product term we have three variables, right? So this is the standard SOP form. The same thing applicable for the standard POS form also. But what is the meaning? Here we are going to perform in terms of the product term. POS means sum term value, right? Sum term means here we do it is nothing but the sum term value, right? Right. Now question is that try to identify, right? The only difference between standard SOP to POS is in terms of the sum term as well as the product term. Right now try to identify what is the answer for this one. Is it normal POS form or standard POS form? Right. 
standard POS form. What is the answer? Right? It is right standard SOP form. Why it is standard SOP form? If we consider, we have the two terms. One, two. So how many variables are there? All this uh, sum term one, sum term two. Either it may A A bar, B R B bar, C R C bar. See, if we consider first product term, we have the all the three variables. In second, sorry, in second sum also we have the all the three variables. Means it is in the standard SOP format. Right? Again, remember that KMAP will understand only standard SOP format. Now, what we will try to do is we will try to solve the some problem based on the standard SOP as well as the standard POS form. So first we will try to find the answer in terms of the standard SOP form. For example, suppose for standard SOP form, right? Let me consider one question, right? Uh, just give me a second. We'll consider one question. The question is something like this, right? So f of a comma or b comma c equal to let it be this is the question something like this. Question is like uh, we'll consider the capital letters a b plus then a b bar c plus a bar b c bar is the question right so always remember that kmap will understand only the standard form of sop not the normal form of the sop now how to solve this question first try to understand whether it is in standard sop form or not right so what is the answer standard sop form or not no it is not in the standard sop form why not standard sop form in product term one we have three variable that's absolutely okay in second product term we have three variable that's absolutely okay but here in the first product term what is the missing variable c is the missing variable right now it is not in the standard sop form but somehow we need to make it as the standard sop form and what is the meaning of this one means here these two product term we don't require any modification right now what is the missing term in the first product term this is the first product term right what is the missing term either it may be c or one more possibility it may be c bar so what is the meaning of this one now for the first product term what is the first product term a b right for the first product term we need to include c and c bar but the moment to include c and c bar the value should not be changed the value should not be changed what do you mean by this right so earlier a b value is the product term value now for example here missing term is c and c bar if you want to include c and c bar if you are directly including then both the expression is not same right so now the condition or requirement is that in product term first product term may be the missing variable is either it may be c or it may be c bar that we need to include first thing is that we need to include and second far most important thing is that final output should be a b only after including c c bar also final output should be a b only right so if we include something like this then both are not same means we should not write like this we have only two options either we can perform the plus operation or we can perform the product operation what is the meaning of this mean this one is we can write in terms of the c plus c bar or we can write in terms of the c into c bar if you know the basic boolean rules right now for example see the meaning should not be changed right so how i am writing means a b into c plus sorry c plus c bar now what will be happen we included c c bar also but what is the answer for c plus c bar as per the boolean basic rules c plus c bar equal to one now what is the answer a b into one if you observe here we included the c as well as the c bar but the meaning of the a b is not changing right this is the important point to be understood right i hope you understand now we'll solve the problem right now in the first expression what is the missing value right what is the missing value here the missing value is the c right so how we are including a b c plus c bar c plus c bar means what is the answer one right in second product term do we require any modification no right so we can write as it is a b bar c plus a bar what is that value a bar b c bar we can write it now what we have to do is right just perform the multiplication operation right so after performing the multiplication what is the answer you will be getting something like this right a b c plus a b c bar plus a bar a b bar c plus a bar b c bar now see that if you don't understand let me write this right so what is the final expression it is look like this one is a b c plus another one is a b c bar plus another one is a b bar c right then final product term is a bar b c bar right now see that if you consider any product term it may be first one or second one or third one fourth one each product term is having the 
all three variables so that is what we called as the standard format of the sop function for example you consider some other question this is the question right now see that these are we have the two product terms so what is the missing variable first product term we have the three variables that is fine well and good but what is the second product term what is the variable is missing br b bar is missing one more is cr c bar is missing that we need to include right how to include b plus b bar c plus c bar so c plus c bar means once b plus b bar means one the final value will not be changed but we are including the c as well as the c bar b as well as the p4 after that you just perform the multiplication operation right so then you will be getting the final product term expression but if you consider any product term each value will be each product term should consist of the all the variables either it may be complemented form or uncomplemented form this is what we called as the standard format of the sop right so then one more is the standard format of the pos right now this is the same procedure only earlier we have the product term now we have the sum term now try to identify how many sum terms here we have sum term one sum term two come to second sum term is there any missing variable out of this how many variables we have a r a bar b r b r b r b bar one more is the c r c bar right now see that in second pro in second product term we have all the three variables then what about the first product term we have only two variables one is a another one is b now what is the missing variable c is the missing variable earlier in sop function what we have done is we have done something a plus b right into something right c plus c bar we added right if you add like this again you will be not getting the same expression what will be happen it will become something like a plus b right in this value will be multiply this one again this value will be perform the multiplication then you will be not getting something lhs equal to rhs so from what is the meaning of this one is you should not write directly c plus c bar then how to write it we have one more option right we can include the c into c bar right so like that we can write down right so how i'm going to write this one is see for example see that here first expression what is the missing variable right c is a missing variable right so for that i am writing a plus b what is the missing variable that i'm going to write in terms of the c into c bar right so then in this product term we don't need to do any modification right we don't need to do any modification right? as it is i'm writing this one right as it is i'm writing this one see if we consider this product term right this product term we have included the c and c bar but what is the meaning of c and c bar zero for this product term only i'm discussing right c into g bar zero then what will be happen a plus b into right plus zero now what is happening final answer is a plus b only right it means meaning is not changing right again we are getting a plus b only right but somehow we are including the min terms also right try to remember how to add in case of the sop function and in case of the pos function now just you solve this problem right then you will find the expression in terms of the standard format of the pos then one more thing here you have to understand we have some basic boolean rules that you need to understand so for example what is the rule is that something if expression looked like this a plus b c then how we can be able to write this expression is we can write a plus b like this a plus b right like this we can write then one more is in the a plus c this is the one way right we can write the expression if you, if expression is looked like this we can able to write in terms of this one so why i am discussing this concept here means if you see that this whole value we are considering as the a this value we are considering as the b c now what is the if you apply this formula a plus b c formula then how it will be look like all right so this will be something like this so a plus b into sorry a plus b into a plus c right apply this value a plus b equal to a right so a plus b right a plus b c equal to a plus b into a plus c right now a value is nothing but a plus b right so now what is the b value here b value is nothing but the c right now what is the next value a plus b plus c bar right this is we converted in terms of the pos function here we don't need you to do any modification now you might be having the doubt what is the need of applying this rule a plus b c equal to a plus b into a plus c the reason for applying this rule is final output should be in terms of the what sometime right but if you don't this apply this kind of rule we cannot able to find out answer in terms of the right sometime value so for that reason we need to understand these boolean rules as per this boolean rules we need to try to convert this expression 
then we need to write like this now everything will be appear in terms of the sum term values right fine in next class we will try to understand what is the meaning of canonical sop and canonical pwise format thank you